Hi second grade scientists, today we're going to be conducting an experiment to see how liquids take the shape of the containers that they're put in. So the first thing you'll notice is that I have a graduated cylinder that has 250 milliliters of water. If you don't have a graduated cylinder, you could just use something like this and fill it up to the first ring. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be moving the liquid from one to the next. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to dump the water carefully into my first container. So as you can see, 250 milliliters of water goes up to about here on this container, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this glass and I'm gonna draw where the water um, went on that container. And then I'm going, when I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to my next container. So I'm gonna very carefully, that one thing I can do is pour it back carefully. Oh, there's a motorcycle. Can you hear it? Um, I could pour it carefully back into that container or I could take this container and then um, put it into the next one. So next we're gonna put 250 milliliters of water into this container and see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so I actually had to stop because I didn't want to create a mess because then I'll have to clean it up. Um, there, there is, this container um, was totally filled to the top, so I'm just going to pause there. So what I would do is I would draw this. So this is a small jar, and I would label it small jar, and I would put uh, um, all the way to the top and some leftovers. Okay. So I'm gonna follow my same procedure. I'm gonna carefully put this water back into this container. And as you can see, I spilled a little bit, but you know what, it's okay, no problem. And now I'm gonna move on to this next glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a picture of what it looks like. It's smaller than this glass. Um, it's not as big as that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and carefully um, put my put my 250 milliliters of water into this. Ooh, is it gonna overflow? Nope. And then I'm gonna draw what it looks like and where the water level stopped. So this container got pretty full. This one is full. This one had um, extra room. Okay. So next we're gonna go to the large wine glass and see what happens. So this one I'm just gonna dump right in here. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw what hap where it, where the line. Okay, so it doesn't look like a lot of liquid in this in this cup, but this one it looked like it was filled to the top, right? Can you predict what's going to happen with this Pyrex dish? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to carefully dump the water into this container and see what happens. Oh, wow. It doesn't look like there's hardly any liquid in that container. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this and label what happened. So as you can see, liquids take on the shapes of the, their containers and what else can you conclude for a bonus activity i want you to comment if you were going to the grocery store to buy some liquids and solids create a list write a name of an item that fits each description can you write down something that you could buy from the grocery store that's a sweet liquid, a crunchy solid, a white liquid, a solid that melts, a sticky liquid, and a soft solid? And send me your grocery list in the comment section. All right, second grade scientists, great job. Be sure to clean up your mess when you're done. See you soon.